All right, what's up my favorite people? It's Tony T again. I got this used toy hauler finally in stock. I have a 2021 Salem FSX. I do carry these new, but I'm not sure if I've ever had this model. This one's pretty cool. So this is not your typical toy hauler that has a slide out. This one does not have a slide out. So sometimes with a toy hauler, it's hard to fit those machines inside because of a slide out. This one does not have a slide out. Oh, look at that, the sun's coming out. Beautiful. So this one does not have a slide out and it's not a walkthrough bathroom. Typically when you get no slide in a toy hauler, you have to walk through the bathroom to get to the bedroom. I'm about to show you this thing. It's about to blow your mind. Check this out. So you have an outside griddle, griddle right here, mini fridge outside. You have another outlet just in case you wanna bring a coffee maker or an ice machine with you. Sewer hose holder right here for your dump hose. You have your quick connect for your gas is right there that runs to your propane up front. Four stabilizer jacks. Nice, huge power awning with a white LED light that goes all the way down. You have speakers right here so you can rock out. And that should be a Bluetooth uh, compatible inside too. I'll get to that in one second. Those got blue lights in them. All these amazing windows on your campsite side. The thing's raised up a little bit just in case you gotta go off road a little bit. So I like that. And you do get the party deck right on the back here. Check this out. How cool, put some lawn chairs out here. This is a uh, enclosed gate that goes all the way around, locks in place, I just don't have it locked. This is pretty neat. And then you just remove these little cables right here, these little hooks, take these out, cables will come out, and then this ramp drops down to the ground and you can uh, load your toys in and out of this. This customer had a little side by side. I'll make sure I put the dimensions uh, in the description. You have solid steps coming in and out of the camper. It's gonna be a lot easier. Nice big grab handle assist for your screen door and then grab handle coming into the unit. Look at how bright and open this thing is. This is a 27 foot. Very nice. So huge, huge picture window on your campsite side. You get these four stone and go storage containers that come with it. That's pretty awesome. This makes out into one huge bed back here. So this is like a king size bed and you get a freestanding table. You can even put that on the deck. You can bring it uh, outside on your uh, patio area. This is pretty neat. So you have two separate beds or one uh, king bed and then all these cushions come up and this folds up. I'll make sure I put it in my uh, listing of the camper with all the actual pictures, but these lift up on both sides and this will kind of lock into place on each side so you can load your toys in and out. Check this out. Now on the patio. It's also prepped for a backup camera. So if you wanted to add a backup camera, you could definitely do that. Look at how nice and bright and open this thing is. You have a screened in, if I can grab it, yeah, that thing's kind of heavy. So it's got magnetic catches that go all the way around this um, opening right here. Oh my gosh, look at that. You have a bottle opener. I like hitting my ring on stuff now. You have a bottle opener at the back of the camper. Now this is your party camper. You have outlets and USBs right there and outlets and USBs on this side too. But anyways, yeah, you have a screen right here. So it will go all right here. It's magnet, uh, magnetized. They go all the way around. So bugs can't get in. Even if you want to have your part, uh, patio down, but you don't want to let the bugs inside, you can most definitely do that. So that's pretty neat. So you have a skylight right here. Brings in a lot, a lot of natural light. Double windows on this side that open. Another one on this side that opens. And there's uh, screens that block those off. And this is pretty cool. So you have a curtain that goes all the way across. So if you have older kids or teenagers, family, friends, or just your little kids that are gonna be sleeping back here, you can utilize this as a bunkhouse and you can actually block this off with curtains and you have a separate room right up front. I'll get to that in one second. But here we go, storage here. Wow, look at that. Pull out drawers, little pull out rack. Well, that's, I don't think it comes like that. I think he installed that. Pretty handy, look at that. It might come like that, I'm not sure. Like I said, I don't think I've had this exact model before. You can mount a TV right here. You have your outlets. HD antenna on the roof. Here goes your Furion Bluetooth radio. So yep, that, that will have uh, inside and outside speakers, the outside speakers that I already showed you. Furion 12 volt fireplace. So this uh, heats up to 500 square feet and it's electric only, doesn't burn any propane. That's a really, really good heat source. Plus you have a furnace on board. Now these little pillow looking things actually go in your skylights. These are aftermarket, so you have to buy these just to keep the sunlight out. So if you're trying to keep it cool or you have your camper in storage, uh, you put those in there, it'll keep a lot cooler. You see the reflective foil on this side. You have one for the skylight back here and another one goes in your bathroom. I just found that out. Oh, yeah, I like the black faucet. You have your single deep sink, not the split sink in this one, but I like how you get the matching uh, countertop inserts to go in here for more prep space. Three burner stove top, oven. I don't think they've ever used the oven. Lots of counter space over here. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, they got the panel off for winterizing. So obviously this camper's winterized, but your water pump, everything's right there. And that's the uh, tube right there. Looks like they've already installed that to winterize your camper. Pretty awesome. All right. 
Oh, there's your sink drainer right there. So you got this panel off, so they utilize that either for a little bit of storage or that's actually, that's a bypass. It's for your hot water tank, I believe. Yeah, those should be your bypasses for winterizing. And yes, you will have to winterize this unit when you're not using it in the winter time. Glass in the cabinets above. Oh, I forgot a light. Microwave is the fear gallon microwave. Looks pretty new. Range with the fan and 12 volt light. I like the black handles too. I like how Salem does that. Wow, that one goes all the way back there. Tons of storage on top of the fridge here. And you got your 10 cubic foot Everchill electric only refrigerator. This thing is super efficient, reaches full temperature uh, within 45 minutes or one hour if you did not know that. And if you're wondering what this little fancy device is here, these are ventilation vents. So you keep that one open that way towards this way while you're driving. If you have your toys in the back, there's gonna be another one in that back corner behind that couch. So that way it doesn't smell like fumes when you go to get in your camper at the campsite. Bet you didn't know that. All right, look at this bathroom. For a toy hauler, they did a really good job. Oh, they even put a fantastic fan in here. Look at that. That is fantastic. Oh, I forgot another light. There we go. Nice, tall, stand-up shower. There's your other skylight. That's a pretty big skylight, too. Um, but that's where that other, other little cover goes um, to not bring in so much sunlight. Pretty cool. Oh, they even gave you that little holder in the center there for all your shampoo and conditioners and your body wash. Little extra counter space here. Little cubbies right here. Still got a black sink. I like that in the bathroom. Got one little piece of storage and a spot for a garbage can. And there goes your toilet paper. Hold it right there. Toilet's in a good spot. And you got your private bedroom right up front. So you can mount another TV right on the wall back here. There's your outlets. This is a, I think this is an upgraded mattress. Seems like an upgraded mattress. Wow, they even got an extra foil here. They put that on the windows? Wow, a bunch of extra like foil insulation. I wonder what they use that for. Huh, I guess you could put it over the windows. Fitted sheet. It looks like they never even used it. it. Looks like they probably bought their own because they threw that back in. And this lifts up. Look at that. You can access your pasture storage uh, from the outside. You put a little, look, I guess that holds a broom. Kind of neat. Little cubbies right here that comes with it. But yeah, this is awesome because you can access if something's pushed in too far from your pasture storage, you can come inside here and access it. They're even giving you a sewer hose. Look at that. Power cord. And on the outside, there's your um, outside cook area. 5 8 tongue and groove plywood here. Oh, your booklet, all your manuals when it was new. Closets on each side of the bed. Another one up there, another one on this side. And check this out. This even has a solar panel on the roof already. 200 watt solar panel with the 30 amp controller on the inside with outlets and USBs right here. And then you get a little extra closet. Yeah, you look at you can remove these and just use this as a closet area or if you want to. Um, Put, leave the shelves in here and put things in there. That's awesome. Ducted AC. This thing is nice and it is not gonna last long, guys. I always tell everybody, if this is the camper you think you're interested in, you're about 90% sure this is what you want, I recommend starting the process right over the phone. I don't like people fighting over campers. Uh, used campers and new campers don't last long around this time. This is my busiest season. I'm extremely busy. It's even hard to get a hold of me sometimes because I'm so, so busy. But I will catch up and I will get back with you if you leave me a message or call, text me, message me on one of the platforms. If you haven't already, I do have a TikTok, YouTube, Facebook page. You guys can follow me, subscribe on there. I appreciate that. And I'm selling campers all over the world. Thank you guys so much. And uh, let me know if you need any help. See you at the next video, guys. Thank you so much. It's Tony T.